in sunny Central Florida. Yeah. So today we are going to do a miracle fruit harvest and taste test. Yeah. And this is exciting. So right over here, it's super sunny, guys. Right over here is our miracle fruit plant. And as you can see, we actually have some ripe little miracle fruit berries on it. Teddy actually spotted another one today. Where is it? There it is, right there. So miracle fruit is a plant that I believe originated in West Africa. Um, I, if I read correctly, in the 17 or 1800s, some uh, you know white explorers that went to West Africa noticed that people would chew it before eating some of their meals. And I mean, I can believe that. We have some stuff planted here, like this Lago spinach back here, I believe is from West Africa. And it's a very bitter, uh, that's a bitter tasting plant right there. And so miracle fruit is known to, to turn bitter or sour tasting foods into sweet tasting foods. Yeah. And we've tried it before. We actually, our, um, our neighbor gave us some. She had a farm and a cattle ranch in Osceola County in Central Florida where she grew it. And she gave us some to try a couple years ago. So this plant is, uh, it'll grow in zones nine to 11. I would say Kathy's farm was probably zone nine B, mm -hmm. wouldn't you guess? Yeah. We're in 10A right here um, on a barrier island in Central Florida. And we've had this planted for two or three years. It's the first time we've ever gotten mature berries off of it. And I really, I honestly wanted to move it. I thought maybe it was in the wrong spot or what, or, you know, I don't know. Didn't like where we had it planted. But then I started reading about it and apparently it won't fruit for you for two, three, four years yeah. till, uh, after you plant it. And so <laughs> this is year three and we have mature fruit on it. And I would say it's happy. Look uh, at how many pretty happy to me. branches are down here. And, um... So I got, a, I, got, I got a scientific term for everybody, guys. So you're probably wondering, well, how does it make sour food taste sweet? And it's a, it's a compound called miracillin. I'll, I'll, I'll put that down below for you guys. But so anyways, there's some kind of compound called miracillin in the, in the berries uh, that changes the taste of stuff. So we're going to go ahead. What we did here, we've done this before. I have a, I have a um, bottle of lemon juice here, and literally you can eat one of these and then squirt lemon juice in your mouth and it tastes like just the best sugary lemonade. And in fact, it tastes so good. The last time we did this, I drank so much lemon juice that I got a real bad stomach ache because, I mean, it was, it tasted so good. It just tasted so good. So, Teddy, why don't you go ahead and harvest both those berries? So, I'm going to twist them. Oh, wow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, Teddy just planted one for us. <laughs> I think it went down in the All right, well, while he's looking for that, I'm going to carefully harvest this yep, other berry. It. I found it. So obviously they're ready to pick, guys. If that popped right off the... I don't know if they're ready to... I don't know what, <laughs> what Teddy's problem is here. All right, come on over here in the shade, kiddo. Don't drop it again until you drop it in your mouth. So come here. Come over here, Teddy. Go ahead and eat that. Eat it. Mmm. Here. Me and Annalisa are going to split one. So you're supposed to rub it all over your tongue when you put it in your mouth for, like, coat your whole tongue in it. Mm. Ours was a little bitter. Woo! Mm. Come on, guys. Out of the sun here. The camera can pick you up. Okay. So, do you think you got a good coating in your mouth now, Teddy? Mm. Oh, it's working already. I just tried it. I'll plant it now. <laughs> here. Yeah. My whole mouth tastes like this fruit. Oh my gosh. Did it work? Oh wow. <laughs> wow. It, it's really we're not just we're not just acting guys and I don't just have water in this bottle for pretend. It it really it it really sweetens the taste. We should have showed how we pucker so much when before we oh, did yeah, it. Oh yeah. Oh, after we do it, uh, I'll you'll show me do it. Do what? Drink it. What do you mean? I'm sure After you drink the it. after oh, this. maybe, yeah. To see so. my face. Well, we could just be pretending there. So let's not drink too much of this, because like I said, I had a, uh, I had a pretty bad stomachache after yeah, the last time. Yeah, gotta so. be careful drinking straight up lemon juice. Yeah, but it, it honestly, it's a, kind of a great name for the plant because it, 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 it seems like a miracle that you can take. I'm serious, you're gonna have a bad stomachache, kiddo. <laughs> it seems like a miracle that you can eat a little berry like that, and it, it, it really changes. But I guess the, the name Miracle came from the Miracillin. Yeah, probably did. Yeah, yeah, that's probably where the name came from. So, also, um, when Kathy, uh, our neighbor, gave us the fruit, she said that um, it's really good for people who are getting chemo treatments because everything kind of tastes like metal or tastes bad. So, um, so it um, it helps um, stimulate appetite. 
for people that maybe are having trouble. Yeah, eating. I think they sell this in like pill and capsule form. And they, you can dry it, yeah. you can sell it dry. I, I read somewhere in the 70s they tried to introduce it to the United States as like an artificial sweetener, but uh, the FDA put some kind of requirements on it. I'm it was a political thing yeah but anyways they put some kind of requirements on it that uh the threat that, that some yeah, other sugar yeah whatever but that, yeah. that hindered the the you know rollout of it in our country but you can grow it and you can eat it and yeah. you can see we've had it before and we're still we're still alive we're the, still standing right bud the shelf life is like a day well that was another issue yeah, yeah. so it's so you'll see guys if you see it for sale online it's usually in like a powder or pill form yeah. Um, it's hard to find berries. I think you can get dried berries. I think we doubt it works as well. Found though. them, yeah. I doubt it does too. You can see we only got two berries there, but that was still good enough for our little taste test. We have some other ones that are popping up on the tree, so we'll That's get those exciting, later. Exciting though. That was uh, it's, I would say it's like more like it's like an experience fruit. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's all about like experiencing the ch the change. Like I wonder if it changes the taste of your or the the shape of your taste buds. Uh, I think it just coats your tongue or something. And, yeah. I just wouldn't recommend eating it if you are then going to go taste a whole bunch of new stuff yeah. because it's going to change the taste of the stuff. And yeah, we've seen people do fruit taste test tours. Yes, where, where they, they ate this right in the beginning yeah. and then everything. Then they tasted. ate like bananas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It didn't make sense. So. But all right, anyway. y'all. Well, this is our little. You can see it's a nice little size too for the for the front garden here. It doesn't take up too much room or shade out too many of our other plants here. It's a fun little plant to have, especially sure especially if you have kids. So, you guys, uh, you guys have any questions or comments about our little uh, miracle fruit tree right there? Just post down below. If you enjoyed our video, maybe consider subscribing to our channel. And if they don't, what's going to happen, bud? You're going to fall into a pit of spiky vermilions. Oh, you're going to fall into a pit of spiky vermilions. That's not going to be any good. They're going to spike you all over the place. And really, all you had to do was subscribe to our channel. So maybe just consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, everybody out there, take care.